Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. And just a reminder, you can find us on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. You can find us on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. So we hope that you'll follow and subscribe and engage with us. We'd love to hear from you. So I hope you're having a great day. This is probably one of the last sunny days we're going to have this week before the rain hits. So um, it is spring after all, April showers. All right, so today I am back from the retreat. Remember that I was trying to put together a strawberry journal. I did get the cover done and uh, slow stitched the fabric that um, I showed you that we picked out. And um, I was able to get some of the inside finished and some of the things sewn around. So, um, just quick little, not a, not a complete flip through, but a little bit of a flip through. Um, so I was asked what, you know, do you do with journals like this? Well, if you give it as a gift, it's a wonderful gift for someone. Um, it, this, as an example, for someone that likes to cook, they can put their favorite recipes. They can put memories that they have from different things. This is also really great for someone that likes strawberries to garden and things like that. But an example, like this is a little um, kind of like a library card, an old library card with just a little bit of some strawberry on it. So maybe I would write my summer reading on here, things that I read, different years that I, you know, um, journal that type of a thing. So you can do things like that. You can write on here your crops. You can, again, like I said, you can write your um, favorite recipes. This is a fabric flip where you can write some of your um, summer secrets, the wonderful things that you've done. Um, write about your picnics. Um, maybe you went to, on the back of here, you could write, you know, some of the different uh, spring festivals you went to or something like that. So um, you just journal anything, anywhere. This has plenty of room for you to put a photo. Uh, lots of writing space. I am going to put a few more things in here um, to... Uh, I, I wanted to put some things that were not just uh, digitals. I wanted to put a few vintage things in here as well. And so, um, I think that's what I'm going to do today. Um, and then eventually once we get it all done, uh, I'll do a complete flip through so you can see everything about it. So I'm going to set that aside and, um, just show you kind of some things that I was thinking about putting in. Um, I grabbed my, box of what are these recipe cards this sweet box Kathy made for me years and years ago isn't it really neat I love it uh, so I thought I would look and see do I have anything that is specific to strawberries and if not just find something cute these are super sweet See if we can, if anything has like, you know, a strawberry on it. Cookies. So nothing really strawberry, um, but they are cute. So that's a possibility. Um, I just get these at thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, wherever. This one looks like I got it at a, a flea market. Have I even opened it? I don't think I've even opened it see if I can get it open and sometimes you know they have a variety it might work let me have to just do it like that and then sometimes they're all the same but we'll see what do I have here It looks like a lot of the same. This one's very, very faded, but still fun. And it's not a, it's not going to work for this journal, but those are still fun. Great for journaling on, and of course, great for recipes. I know that you can 
I know that you can go online and look at recipes, but there's nothing like looking at recipes that are handwritten. Um, I have recipes from my dear friend from high school. Her mother gave me her uh, her frosting recipe, and she gave me her pie recipe. And oh my gosh, I just love seeing that in her handwriting. She's She's been gone for quite a while now, so it means the world to me. Okay, so this one's kind of cute. It does have strawberries. It has all kinds of fruit, but it has strawberries, so we'll use that. That's neat. So that's really fun. We could use that as a pocket with a flip to journal. Let's put that over there. That's going to be great. Um, let's see about these. This would be great for a garden journal. This one got a little bit mixed up here. I don't have very many of those. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I guess I have a few. Those are, well, oh, those aren't exactly the same. Okay. Um, oh, that's pretty. That's got, it has strawberries on it. Let's use, let's pull one of those out. We may not use them all, but we'll see. Christmas, we don't need that. Also has a strawberry, but I think it's a little bit too cutesy for what I'm looking for. These are neat. They don't look like they've been open and they do have a strawberry on them. So let's let's grab one of those. Let's see if I can get it open without splitting the whole thing. Kind of keep, try to keep this cellophane to where it'll help keep those in place. Well, this is exciting. This is more than I thought I was going to find. All right, nice. What's in here? Bread. Oh, that's sweet. A little bumblebee. Um... I'll have to tell you about this box and the meaning behind it sometime. We'll do a project like it at some point. It's a really great project for uh, mamas. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get them all back in. Yeah, we can. Okay. And these just go up on my shelf. I think we'll skip that. And I'll just put these all back up on the shelf. A little roly poly. All right. One, two, three. That's very nice. Okay, then what I did is that's this is hopefully we're gonna get to this today. Then what I did is I went through some old cookbooks hoping to find something strawberry. So um, I was able to find something strawberry. So I thought we'd just pull these pages out. This one's strawberry on both sides. So that's fun. That can be a nice little tuck. Um, and I was thinking we might make a little document folder. And um, this too has it on both sides. A little document folder and then we can just put those in there strawberry frosting mmm sounds delish okay this is a book an old Watkins which I believe is a um, like a spice and um, extract type of company um 1945 it's a dollar 50. okay butterscotch that's not it here's one modern food for modern menus with miracle quick freezing and this is 1942 as well so Frosted Strawberry Sunday, an American favorite. This is a whole page, so let's take that out. We might 
we might be able to use that somehow. Uncooked pickles. We don't need that. Calumet baking book. I'm not sure if I say that, said that right, but I think that is like a baking powder or baking soda or something. Yeah, baking powder. Here's a strawberry shortcake. I don't know, am I too far away? So let's grab that. This old page, very fragile. Let's see what year this is. 1931. This cracked me up. Joys of Jello. Desserts, two-way recipes, salads, new ways, tips and tricks, index. I thought this was beautiful. Beautiful page. But I wanted to show you some. Look at all these things. So what year is this? What year were people just so into Jello? We find a year on here. Hmm. I don't see the year, but there was a period of time when people were really into Jello. Let's take a look. Look at this. It has olives in it. It has lime or lemon lime jello, salt, water, vinegar, onions, cucumber, celery, pimento, stuffed olives, and tuna. Oh my gosh. I can't even fathom it. I cannot even fathom it. I And I'm wondering at what point did we... Did we stop this jello craze? Like, when did that happen? Oh my gosh. I just I don't even know what I would do. I would go... I would starve. What's this one? Waldorf salad. Ugh. Just don't know. I mean, s some fruit maybe? Ooh, a birthday surprise. <laughs> Some fruit maybe, but I just can't even begin to fathom anything but fruit. Ugh. All right, well, let's get that strawberry out of here. Just going to be very, very pretty. It's very vibrant. Okay. And then an old Betty Crocker cookbook. Let's see if it tells when this one was. 1971 was the seventh printing. And I think I picked two pages. Yeah, I thought this was very nice. These pages are, you know, pretty thick. We might use that for our um, document. Maybe make the, use it as a document. And then this is strawberry Bavarian cream and it it is jello so seems like maybe 60s early 70s jello was it or yeah jello was a, a kind of a deal wow okay so we have a few little things oh sorry about that didn't mean to, to bump you there I'm going to just set these books down All right, let's work on a few things. Okay, this is my thought with these. Um, I 
I wanted to make a document document holder. So basically, I'm going to take those off. Basically, I think what I'd like to do is fold one this way. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to split that strawberry, I think in half. Fold one this way. Let's see. And I may end up just folding that over. Okay, let's let's do this first. Let's um let's bind those. What should we bind them with? This. Maybe we bind it with this, you know, like just kind of keep them together. I do want to save some of this because I want to use it on an envelope. So I don't want to, you know, use it all. But if we do, that's fine too. I've got some other things we can use. Ah! Oh my gosh, we had so much fun at the retreat. Can't even tell you all the fun we had. And our retreat director, Julie, um, did a phenomenal job with every single detail. And uh, she had little table drops with cute little um, takeaways. And she had, uh, let's see, I think that's going to be fine. And uh, she had, oh, there's our train. She had taken, she made, she, she wanted it to look a little bit like spring in Paris. And so she had taken poster board, two, two big pieces of poster board, put them together, then scalloped along the ends. And then she uh, painted it black, alternating black and white to make it look like an awning. And then she folded back one side, the side that she didn't have scalloped, and, you know, put it up against um, the walls and the windows at the retreat. And it just looked adorable. Oh my gosh. She just did so much. It was super fun. Chit-chatting. I did not get near done what I had hoped. You know, I had thought, oh, I'm going to get this strawberry journal done. I'm going to get the... Um, mushroom journal at least started didn't even open the stuff for the mus mushroom journal didn't even begin it I'm I'm okay with uh, the holes showing I don't mind that I do want to just a little bit put just a little bit of knock down that edge um Dinner, we had dinner two nights, delish, a uh, big Italian dinner. It was so good. And the girl, there's a girl, one of the ladies that does all the dinners. She does a phenomenal job preparing for a large group. Uh, her name is Diane. She did an amazing job. <clears throat> and then um, she made a wonderful uh, chocolate mousse Oreo chocolate mousse dessert deliciousness for the first night and then the second night uh, we had an amazing Mexican casserole is that what we had yeah Mexican casserole Italian and Mexican two of my favorites and um, and then she made like this I think she called it a seven layer cookie which was, oh gosh, it had chocolate chips, butterscotch chips. It had, um, what am I trying to say? Coconut, 
and pecans and it had um and she i think then what she did was she drizzled that uh eagle that eagle cream you know you get in the can we used to make snow ice cream with it when we were kids drizzle that over snow and you make ice cream but anyway so she did that and then it was all on a graham cracker crust and then baked oh man it was so good uh so yeah we did not go hungry that is for sure and then uh, I think I brought my lunch the first day. And then second day I just stopped at the Walmart and went to their deli. You know, oh, that's not very straight. Save that for something else. Let's see if I can do it better this way. Nope, that's the torn edge. Let's see if I can do it better this way. Um... And then the last day that we were there, Joey came, and we stayed an extra night, and that was fun. I mean, we don't live, a, you know, an exciting, we don't have a crazy life where we need to get away necessarily, but it was just fun to be away and not think about chores or, you know, anything else. And then we got up the next day, and <clears throat> we had two cars, so I brought one home, and he, Joey ran errands, and... Uh, goofed around on his way home and then when he got home we went to lunch and uh, did a little thrifting I found I'll have to show you sometime uh, I found a whole thing I don't know maybe 20 25 cabinet cards for three dollars so I wasn't a very big spender that day <laughs> but I enjoyed what I got so, um, then we came home, and do you know, um, I took a nap. You know, I think I told you I rarely take a nap, but, oh man, I don't know what it is about having a relaxing weekend. You're just sleepy about it, you know, and that's how I was. I was sleepy when I got home. Okay. All right, that's a little goofy, but we'll figure it out later. Okay, so we have that, and then I'm going to fold this, okay, and then I think what I'm going to do is fold it around this, like that. Now, is that going to fit in anything if I do that? Let me look at my book. Do I have anything that is going to fit in? Still going to be too wide for anything. Okay. Should have measured it down a little bit. Okay. Let's see here. There, that'll fit now. Okay. And I'm not worried about the crease because we're going to age it anyway, so. I mean, age it a little bit more than it was, so it'll just look like that was some natural crease at some point. So anyways, uh, so what did we do? Um, I did a couple of demonstrations. Um, I think if you watch my video um, on the Rolodex cards, uh, you'll see the. it's very similar to that. We did that, and it was just super, super fun. The girls made amazing uh, Rolodex collages, and um, I will put those on my Instagram maybe today put it on my Instagram 
and you can see all the different ones that they made. Let's see, we made six, um, 72 cards, I think, between everybody. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know what's amazing is you're so relaxed, but you're so tired afterwards. I mean, that's why I think I ended up taking a nap, and then when I, um, and then I went to bed early. <laughs> all right, so we have that. Um, all I'm going to do here is I just want to put some some fun things in it, but I think I'm going to clip this. I'm going to put this behind it. That. just to give it a little bit of strength sometimes these old things don't like to be clipped okay and I think I'm just going to glue right here and that allows a little bit of room there to put things Just put a thin line right here. Okay, now let's put it in. Got myself covered up here. Okay, let's put, this would be nice to put in there. Strawberry shortcake and maybe one of these. Okay. I like it with this little spiral thing poking out. I think that's fun. Maybe one more thing in there. Do I have something small? No. Okay. I think that's fine. What's happening here? It. Now is it too tall? Might be. Let's see. We've got a little room at the top we can take off if we need to. Yeah, it's going to be a little too tall. Boy, I sure ha sure should have measured beforehand, huh? Let me take a little bit off of the top. I don't want to get into that dessert thing. So let me try to... You might have to refold or um, re glue the bottom. I'm sure that's not the way you're supposed to do it. I suppose you're probably not supposed to just hit that. Yep, let's take a little bit off the bottom. Now let's hope that our little items fit in it I, still. That was a roundabout, wasn't it? 
Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I didn't even cut that. I can't believe it. I thought I took that out. Okay. Well, this one's taken a little longer than I thought. I Probably because I um, am winging it. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. I do like having that top open, though. I think that's nice. Okay, round like this. Like that. Around like that. Okay. All right. So that's going to go in somewhere. I'm going to set it over here though for now. Okay. And then I think what I'm going to do is try to maybe make one of these, a couple of these maybe, as a pocket. Whoops, sorry. Let's see where we need a pocket. I like how that looks there. So, Hmm. I don't care for. I think it's the yellow on this that's tri tripping me up. Well, that doesn't look too bad, like that. Let's put that there. So again, what we're going to do is just go around the bottom and the sides, and make it a little pocket too. And maybe that'll be a good place for one of these recipes. Okay, let's see what else needs to happen. I, I don't think that looks too bad, you know, but let's see if there's any better place hmm wheel I don't think that's too bad let's do that but I do want to put a little thumb hole here and I want to distress oopsie I want to distress it a little bit too because um, I think that yellow is just a little bit bright Okay, so I, I was so excited when we got home from the retreat because I, I had thought to myself, my lilacs should be open by Sunday. Well, while I was gone, there was a little bit of a threat of weather, you know, bad weather. And I thought, oh man, like it was supposed to freeze. And that has happened a couple of times to me is that just when the lilacs are like, I'm about to come out, about to bloom, um, we get a freeze and then I don't get the lilacs. Oh, isn't that so disappointing? So um, I was thrilled beyond thrilled when I got home and saw saw my lilacs were bloomed and uh, I put a picture on our on my Instagram or on our Instagram um, so yeah if you get a chance to go see that to look that up what do I want to do with this I think it's neat that it can fold Hmm. Let's 
see what needs to happen back in here somewhere. Anyways, they were gorgeous. That's fun. Put it there. Maybe tuck something in here and we can decorate that. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I cut some branches off and put them in, you know, in the house. And I'm not even kidding you. The fragrance is unbelievable. And then I cut some, took them over to my mom's. And then yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw my little beanbag video, but um, I took beanbag over to see my grandson that had broke his arm. And uh, so I took some over to my daughter and she said, oh, just in the nick of time, I just burned something for breakfast. So this will be helpful. Yeah, I think that's going to be cute. And then I'll find something put there. So let's, let's do this. Okay. Would be a good spot for this. Uh -oh. Nope, I don't think that's going to work there. We'll find a spot for it. And this card's having a little trouble. This will be fun to add a recipe or just, you know, write about someone's kitchen or your grandma or something. It'll be fun. I'll leave it open like that for right now while it adheres. Okay, let's see. Let's try to find a spot for these. Maybe in, this, in the uh, places that we just put stuff. That is just a little bit wide. I wonder if we just trim her down a little bit. Just a smidgey. And maybe uh, over here too and see if it'll fit. Nope. Nope, it doesn't fit, and I don't want to cut it anymore because um, I don't want, let's just do it that way. I don't want to cut it anymore because I don't want to take any more off the picture, and I don't want to take off from the recipe. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. These jellos kill me. Okay. Let's find a spot for this one. Almost wondering if I'm almost wondering if I just fold this and glue down one side and then you can open it and see the other side. And I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll glue down the mashed potato cocoa cake. Some of these recipes are super funny. Well, I want to thank you before we run out of time. I want to thank everyone for all your support and all your wonderful comments and um, just supporting us in our YouTube endeavor and... Um, Thank you for sharing. If you haven't yet, we hope that you will. 
would love to hear your ideas. I'd uh, love to just hear what you think about some of these things, you know. Do you remember the Jello craze? Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be fun. Let me just flip this open. Strawberry shortcake. All right, where can we put this last one? Let's put it back towards the back. Okay. That's doing better. Okay. I think what I'll do is fold this in thirds. Cute. And then I'll do something here on this one. I do need to uh, also find a place for this tall one we made that has some goodies inside. So I'll do that as well. Well, everyone, thank you so much for hanging with me um, as we go through this strawberry, this fun little strawberry journal. And um, don't forget, we pray blessings over each of you. Um, and, uh, we just want you to know that you're so loved by us and by God. You're so loved. All right, everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for sharing with us. Bye-bye.